So this concept of detoxing does not just involve nutrition changes and restrictive diets. Detoxing also involves thinking and activity. The activity part, if you live towards the equator, you probably won't notice as much because your temperature and your environment is at a, a, a small window where it stays within reason and unchanged throughout the whole year. But if you live in Chicago, you're going to experience times when you have to get the gloves on, you have to get the hats on, you got to put three layers on, and sometimes that will lock out everybody from any form of activity for three to six months. Now that's a shame because if you're just going with the nutrition and you do nothing for thinking or relaxation practice, do nothing for activity for those short amounts of time, you're going to, the likelihood of being successful after three to six months is low. Uh, again, there are studies that show that if you don't follow the book or the author to the T, and you just buy the book and do the first chapter, or you just subscribe to a service of nutrition and exercise, and you unsubscribe and you try to keep up the activity that you're given, all those cards that you're doing, the likelihood of success, the sustainable success is low. So the idea is to, with regards to activity, change your concept of what to do in the wintertime. If you're an outdoor person, then you should be well versed with a couple of other things to take advantage of. Um, the resistance that you get with uh, flatland hiking isn't as exciting as a run, a marathon, half marathon, 5k, but there's still duration of time involved and time spent with nature gives you certain benefits that you don't get with running. I love running, but it was tough on my knees so I decided to take up hiking instead. And now I'm healthier than I did when I, than I was when I did the two marathons I did. So the objective for me was to sustain something that I can do all year round. And this happens to be an activity that can be done all year round. It's really cool too. Uh, this is mine though. If you're kind of searching and this doesn't resonate with you, meaning hiking or getting out to the nature preserves or forest preserves, then consider looking into your local community for those $10 a month subscription services to gyms or small gyms. That doesn't involve any personal training, just a gym membership. The uh, uh, possibility of a group of people hiring a personal trainer once a week for three months. Uh, personal trainers are excellent because they can, they can personalize a, an exercise routine for you. Kind of like a physical therapist, but uh, they are very creative with regards to the exercises they create in a template for individuals. Uh, you can also take advantage of a yoga studio, a Tai Chi studio, martial arts, park district, see what they have available. I think there are activities uh, that you can do that are in your community that you probably haven't been aware of, but it might take a little investigation. The idea is to change it around, change around your concept. Uh, the easiest thing I can tell you is that in the winter time, Everybody in Chicago hates winter. They hate snow. Anybody that visits from the south and comes to Chicago will usually say it's very gloomy. I don't want to do anything. That's probably not the right attitude to take. I think that if you, with all the textiles that they have nowadays and the prices that they have that are affordable, you can actually get out and do, you pick, your, pick and choose your days, but you can get out any day of the week and experience some form of activity. It won't be like a marathon, but it will be a form of activity. And, there are great studies that say just getting out and doing something, whether it's in nature or doing some exercise, has this immune boosting function that the brain feels very relaxed. It lowers blood pressure. If you do it long enough, it will get to the point where it lowers blood pressure, decreases the biomarkers of the blood markers of inflammation, makes you feel better, increases serotonin. There's all these benefits that you can get and you don't have to spend three hours in a gym. You can do it on a limited basis and still get good results. Or you really truncate it to uh, 10 to 15 minutes per day, but you just do it over the course of three months, and before you know it, you'll be leapfrogging your way into that summertime outdoor activity. So again, changing around the concept of how you think about cold weather would be important, in addition to the nutrition, in addition to the relaxation practice.